Oh gosh, no, how much do I have to redo? Oh. Oops, oops, oops. I have no idea what I'm doing there. It's so confusing. Oh, I'm gonna have to fast forward all these. I don't care. I'm not changing my opinion. And this one. That's just, oh, what do I have to do there? So can't shut down the main computer, can't shut down communications. Or I can't da shut down anything that does my communications. But, what, what do you have to say? Okay, yeah. Uh, that shouldn't have happened. Oh, great, great, great. Uh, yes. This. This. <laughs> oh gosh, that was bad. I, 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 I think I killed us all. <laughs> um. Then this. Show message. Fast forward. If future me remembers to edit this out. Then you won't be hearing this. If I didn't, I'm sorry. So sorry. Oh my gosh. Also, I feel like that would be better for someone who actually understands computers, which I don't. <laughs> so it's like, to me, it's like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just clicking or typing things and hoping it works. Boop. Now, this one. So when I said, hey, this music's getting weird, I wasn't, uh, wrong. What does she want me to shut down, though? That was confusing me. It's like, hey, go disable something. I don't know what it was. done? Good, thanks. Okay, s yes, overwrite that save. Apparently we made no difference finishing that block. Um, you. Consent letter. Show message. Bet you wasn't what you are expecting, blah blah blah. Okay, so... Oh, sweet. Okay. Oh, hey, a letter from Hannah. Unsent letter from Hannah. To my lovely Sochin, you made it You made it so easy, you know that? I've always wanted to be seduced. But the more I learned about it, the better I got at it. The more I thought about how lucky men are that they'll get to be on the receiving end of it. It's always seemed like it would be so much fun. But that wasn't why I dropped my guard in front of you, by the way. I was actually really wary the whole time you were serving me breakfast. Do you know what I first thought? I thought maybe you were trying to poison me. I mean, not seriously, of course, but it crossed my mind. So no, it really was, I really was guarded until you started talking. You know what it was that got me? Do tell me, how is it studying to be a courtesan? I answered modestly. Oh, you know, there's nothing to learn. You just have it or you don't. I answered that any man would expect. But you? You wouldn't have had any of that. You said, please, don't lie. I actually want to know. It takes years, does it not? The mo that must be intense for a girl of your age. Then you leaned in, and I started to blab about how it, it kind of is pretty intense. And I only realized an hour later that I was staring into your eyes, telling you, probably no less, about my whole life story. Our faces were barely a foot apart by the time I noticed what you've done. And that was how you caught me totally off guard. I had no idea what to do. Should I touch you? What's the right body language in that situation? Was I even inter bleh, interpreting you right? Was it just all in my head? Not even the slightest clue. You had me good. And you played it so well. You know just the right moment to pull back and tell me to go on my own, my own way. But in a way that left me wondering. 
So Jin, you made it so easy. Returning home? My heart was so fluttered. Your feelings so confused. All I could think about was you. You, the bored old wife of my patron, actually managed to seduce me just like that. I always wanted to know the fit that feeling. And you know, it was everything I dreamed it to be. You want more from that whore? Yeah, sure. I can do that. Here you go. This one in particular is just, wow, really? Wow. Yeah, it's super depraved, but man, it's also just, what a 16 year old. Here, read it for yourself. I don't want it to go weird again anytime soon. Oh my gosh. How anyone can match this, I do not know. Whenever I am with you, I feel as though there's so much pressure to be perfect, to not let you down. As if every hour of being together is like a marriage interview with an emperor. Oh, this is oh, Sojin. And yet I can't stand it when you're gone. All I can think of <coughs> all day is how I can hold you, your attention for next time. That night, I snuck you over, knowing my husband was out. I was so terrified. You just suddenly appeared on my doorstep. Your face veiled as if you were a noble woman. I knew I could hardly turn you away. Do you know why? For I immediately went to make you tea, make you wait in the other room, to give me a chance to calm my nerves. I was surprised to realize you were just as nervous as I, so I knew I could take advantage of that. I put both cups on the same side of the table and sat cross-legged. Come, I said. Sit with me, I guess you. You were so graceful in sitting on my lap, your small body just the right size, and I saw that even you couldn't help but blush, and so we drank tea together. But halfway through, you put your cup back down and turned around so you weren't facing me, your hands just inches apart. You whispered, forget about the tea, and clasped me my free hand, your tiny fingers intertwined with mine. You kissed me so softly. Up until that point, I had been so worried trying to figure out what I should do. Was I playing the man's role, or were you? But after smelling the scent of your breath and tasting the sweetness of your lips, how could I possibly ignore the passion stirring enough to care about such things? I put down my cup and took you by the chin, gently, pushing you away. Oh, what longing and uncertainty was in your eyes at that moment, beautiful Hannah. I smiled as I stared back at them, intoxicated with the fact that I had you now literally underneath my thumb. I unclasped our hands and I did the bow of your blouse, watching your lips quiver as I pulled open the flap covering your small breasts, running my fingers along the edge. I admired just how soft they were, so perfectly shaped. I are you sure? You started to ask, but I silenced you with that kiss you were so eager for. You shivered as I enjoyed the taste of your mouth and were so very anxious when I stopped and turned you back around once more. Will you sing to me? Will you sing for me? I whispered into your ear. You nodded, referring to your trade, and said, I, I love, to you. love to write you a poem, Sir Shen. I responded, putting my hand up. Your skirt, your poetry is beautiful, but hardly what I meant. Then I clasped your breast with my spare hand, delved deep with the other, and held you very tight while I admired the lovingness of your voice. <laughs> Holy crap, this guy's scandalous. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. Yeah. Nope. That one is just, uh, wow. <laughs> anyway, I'll let you get back to reading. <laughs> I was not expecting that game to go here. Oh my gosh. Um, unsent letter for, from Hannah. These are all unsent, but it's, it's interesting. You know what the first thing they teach you about this, this role is? Of course you do. I've told you all about it. The first thing they teach you is to never fall in love. Nobody ever actually says, make sure you're in control. But that's the only way it's ever worked. That's, eh, but that's the only way it'll ever work well. I'm supposed to be the one making people fall for me. Love is for men stupid enough to buy me out from the emperor. Not for me, personally. I know exactly how you managed to do it. But so Jin, you got me all the same, you know. They teach us poetry because if you appeal to man's vanity and seem a little bit clever, it's a good way to hold on to them and make and get them to keep paying. With that flattering kind, sincerity never really factors too much. An abandoned lie from the ones I've been trying to write for you. You grab my heart just as tightly as you grab my breasts. Too trite, way too trite. It's true, but I'm not going to dump such a lousy metaphor on you. But you, you absolutely deserve sincerity. I have nothing to do with vanity. Everything to do with the fact that I really do totally love you. It's not sexual. I mean, it is sexual too. 
I still get hot thinking of how you had your way with me, and how I want to return the favor, but it's not just that. It's that you understand me, that you listen to me. I can pour my hat out in front of you, I can cry in front of you, and you get it. You don't feel bad, you don't feel pity, you don't use it as an excuse to manhandle me. You just get it. You comfort me by being there and listening. I love you, Sojin. I'm not supposed to, but I really do. Oh, I love you. Wow. Just wow. You know, I kind of feel pity for her. She was probably really... She probably really did think that was actually was love. Which is just... Come on. How uneducated can you be? Anyway. I guess you want to see more now, huh, right? That really, just the shocking details you've seen so far. Here's the part where things actually get scandalous. I added three more entries. My art is. Is the music changing again? No, not yet. Okay. Hannah, my art is that of lies and lying, and of both I have much practice. I've said to a man I love you falsely. I've suffered pain by smile and pleasure. But the hardest lie I've ever told was that I could live without you. Man, how's that for verse? Really? It's not the translation I show you. It's not exactly any better in the original Korean. Can you believe that was actually written by someone who studied poetry for years? Seriously? It's not really great. Uh, it's not that great poetry. <laughs> it really isn't. It's alright. It's not like. It's not pretty bad. But it's also not terrible. Well, hmm, let's just go with this one. Well, that's fine and all, I guess. But you're a woman. I don't expect you to know how much. I don't like you. I don't expect you to know about good verse. Real poetry, it's not forced like that. It's from the heart, it's sincere, not vulgar trash. I don't know much about the subject, but I mean, <laughs> if you don't know anything about the subject, then you can judge, girl. There's a reason why men's poetry is what gets steady and taught in women's poetry is just used for seduction. You need real sincerity. You need someone who actually understands love. I'm sorry, I'm like thinking of like the female poets we read about in my like Victorian literature class and yeah, no, those you couldn't use for seduction. <laughs> they were like, here, here's an entire poem about war and it's like nothing seductive about it. Anyways. It's titillating, sure, but it's crap. Anyways, though, I guess you want to see the poem that horror wrote for her? Uh, yes. Right, of course. Here, have it. Fair warning, though, it's pretty gross, even more than probably anything else you've read here. You've read. That's all the horror's poetry for Sojin. She didn't seem to write down the ones she did for anyone else, so that's all you can get. You're so mean to her. She's like 16, she doesn't know better. Plus, I think you're more angry because it's like, how dare two women be together then? I don't know. Is it lust or is it love? That's another factor could, she could be angry about. Hannah, pretty flower. Who could plant you, then abandon you in my bed? Each day I stop to admire your aroma. Will you garden your mind? Each night I pluck my own petals. I dream of yours, I Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so raunchy. What the heck? Man, how's that for first? Really, it's not that translation that I did it. Oh gosh, anyways. Uh, unsent letter 5 from Oswishin. It was only after I finally started to become confident with you, confident that you really were mine, and that I didn't have to work to impress you, that things got complicated. My husband had left for the day, and you were still lingering, having spent the night with him. But it was for me that you had a new love poem, and I undressed you while you sang it. When you were done, you clung to me, stripping me in turn, while I, while I simply kissed you and ran my hands from your tiny waist to your smooth ankles. And soon we were, soon enough, we were both naked. At first, I had felt so uncomfortable exposing my body and like that to you, as if you see it that I then finally realized how old I am. You're not old. She's young, but you're not old. But you never did seem to mind. Not as you play soft kisses on my breast, nor as you strangled me with your legs around my waist and ar arms around my neck. So entranced was I at that moment that I never heard the footsteps outside. We had just started to kiss when the door suddenly opened. What a scene. Walked in. 
what I seemed to walk into. There my husband was in the doorway. His chorus and wife naked together, mouth still connected by a strand. For a moment nobody said anything. In that time I felt terrorist never before in my life. Saying Ming is not a gentleman. And while he hardly ever raised his hand to me, I was so overwhelmed with horror that he might hurt me. Even worse that he would hurt you. I had seduced you, but in that moment I realized if he did try, there was nothing I could do to protect you. But just as we were stammering out, I'm sorry, sirs. He just laughed and laughed. Well, he said, ogling us with a cold stare of his. I'm certainly paying you enough for two. Then he walked over and raised his hands. And I stared in terror, but all he did was pat you on the head as though you were a child. I didn't know what she told you, but you don't have to pay any attention to her. Easy to just ignore her, really. All you could do was just start to stammer. I wanted to. We were both so afraid, but he just laughed and shrugged. Whatever, he said, as he passed through the other door. Many of us knew what to do. Other than climb off of each other and scramble to cover ourselves back up. While we both clumsily tried to dress ourselves, Sang Ming walked back through the room once more, carrying Satchel. You've forgotten it for work, I suppose. You don't have to stop on my account. If, you're, if you ask permission, you can do whatever the hell you want, he said, and then he laughed again. Do you know what you think you, you've been going to do, though? Aren't you two missing something? I wish he had struck me and said. It would have hurt me far less than what he said, or what he had to watch me do. What you had to watch me do. What did you do? I don't know. That is, uh... That's not fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Show must just... Just imagine that scene. Her in the horror play pleading with her husband? Being mocked like that? What do you make of that? Um... Um... Did they have it coming? They... If they're pretty much, in a sense, not, would it be considered an affair? He's technically having an affair. So she would also technically be having an affair, though. So in a sense, they should have been at least a little bit more careful and, like, I don't know, lock the door? But, eh, I don't know, it's pitiful. <sighs> I'm gonna say they had it coming because they didn't lock the dang door. <laughs> Don't you dare, don't you dare. What are you, you're never happy with me. I'm not saying she wasn't a bad wife, she's clearly not, but don't judge her for it. That's not what, ugh, I get it, you never do anything like that. Well, isn't that good for you? Fine, you're better than her, but she's still good at, just a woman. That is not what I meant at all. Oh my gosh, you are so confusing. She's still just a woman. Do you really think treating her like that would be, that's not what I'm doing, that would make things better. You just need to lock the damn door. Come on, you should have seen how sensitive much of blah, blah, blah. I just heard her more. Maybe that's something you might do, but she's dead. But a man should be better than that. See, I think that's pretty messed up. You should too. And you should too. Anyways, I'll let you go back to me. What the fuck? I want to see if it's any better if I said it was pitiful. Because she seems to get angry at me no matter what. I know, right? I mean, really, what an awful pitiful scene. It's not, I'm not saying that he didn't have the right to say those things. Of course he did. That is his prerogative. And sure, sure, she's a bad wife. But still, he's also a bad husband. But still, even if he had the right, this is a shitty way to treat her. He should have been a better man than that. And just really, what a pathetic scene. Just absolutely pathetic. He shouldn't have been ashamed not laughing. Just no sense of shame. I'm glad you think so too. That's... No. Anyways, I'll let you get back to reading. I don't like either of those responses. To me, it's like, wow, well, that sucks for them. It could have been worse. Obviously, that guy is just... Yeah, no, that's a bad marriage, but... A little shocked he's in, like, hey, threesome, let's do it, but... Whatever. Uh, I'm set letter six, Hannah. It's so unfair. What could have been? I'm a safe before crazy music comes back. It's so unfair. What couldn't you have been born a man instead? Sure, you lose your beauty and gentleness. I love that you, but at least you, at least you'd be able to do something. And singing men will be, would be jealous instead of thinking of you as a completely unthreatening. I just know you want to be able to stand up for me, and it's killing me to see that you are powerless too. Right now, he's happy to keep me around. You no, know, I guess I'm off to have something to hold over my head. I had no idea you were so lustful that you even settled for a woman's dress. 
says, What's that like? The worst part, I know that the only way to keep seeing is to play along. Oh, well, you know, for a girl my age. I respond, pressing my hands against my face to look like I'm embarrassed. He's just playing. It's not the same without, you know, trade off. Because he thinks it's so cute when I'm too ashamed to say the word cock. Poor girl, he says, roughly gropes me. And I force out all those soft moans of gas to make him think that he's really making me happy. And I say awful things, love. I say such awful things about you, it kills me. It kills me. It just kills me. 